So talking about pediatric patients, they can vary from being a one day old kid to a teenager who is 16, 17. So this gives a wide range of uh, challenges to the anesthesiologist. At Aster CMI, we deal with these kids on daily basis, starting from a, a one day old or being a preterm kid to a elderly 16, 17 year old kid. So three main things which any anesthesia care involves, including pediatric is first is the safety of the patient, second is the patient comfort and third is the early recovery. So coming to pediatrics as such, the safety in the sense we have all the equipments uh, which are being sized appropriately for any uh, pediatric patients and they help in monitoring the patient, keeping your baby safe and also helping them in the recovery after the surgery. Next aspect is patient comfort and patient care. So this again can be divided into three parts, having it before the surgery, comfort during the surgery and comfort after surgery. So here in Aster CMI, we have this room specifically designed for pediatric care where before the surgery, we get the parents along with the baby inside so they are more comfortable. They are used in, their, in the parents' lap and we give them some gas to smell through a balloon and they go off to sleep in the parents' lap. So we do not get any baby inside the operation theater who is crying. They are with their parents, they go off to sleep with that gas. And once they are asleep only, we, we start the rest of the anesthesia like putting an injection in the hand to give other medications and all. During the surgery, we make sure that they receive multimodal form of painkilling medications. Like it can be in local anesthesia injected at the surgery or local anesthesia targeting a nerve group. And additional to that, we give at least two or three forms of IV medications for pain relief. So coming to after surgery, they wake up. Once the baby wakes up, they always wake up with the parent being on the side so that they are not they are not anxious they do not they are not in a new environment so they always wake up with the parent being on the side and with multimodal form of painkillers that we have given they wake up comfortably and with the parents being side and they are it's a smooth experience for the baby and for the parent so this also helps the parent build confidence in the child care which eventually they will have to do once the baby goes home so the parent is also confident that they yes they can take care of the child the parents are confident it is the baby has had a smooth journey is pain free and recovered and went to sleep when i was there and woke up before and when i was there so this helps the child anxiety is reduced the child is more comfortable the parents are reassured and the parents are confident that yes my child is doing well and i can take care of the child after the surgery the third aspect is early recovery from anesthesia and early mobilization so all the babies here, they as soon as they wake up, they are given uh, water or breast milk, whatever the requirement will be based on their age, to start taking immediately as soon as they are fully awake, which is generally within 45 minutes to one hour after the surgery. And so the child is gradually over the period of next three to four hours, the child is on complete oral supplementation as it was taking before the surgery. So within a matter of three to four hours after the surgery, the child is back to his normal diet, Within one hour of the surgery, the child has started on liquids. So the recovery of these kids is, is quick and then their easy discharge is e uh, earlier and the child goes back home earlier. So most of our cases, if they're amenable, they go home the same day as they come for daycare. If required, they stay overnight and most of the kids by day two, they are at home. So this, this is what we follow here at Aster CMI, allowing for early recovery in a safe environment and giving comfort to the child and to the parents.